Chapter 9. As long as the road lacks perspective. Hello. Hi, Scott. Mm, Mom? How are you doing? Guess where we are. Uh, in Europe. Good guess, Scott. What, am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. We're in Italy. We're in Rome. Are there Romans there? Yes, Scott. There are Romans in Rome. Okay, cool. So how are you, Scott? Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, kinda. Ask if she's cute. Is she cute? Dad wants to know if she's cute. She's, she's cute, yes! Stop asking about her, I'm done! How's your roommate, Wendell? Does he have a girlfriend yet? No. How about a job? Do you have a job? I'm working on it! I also don't want to talk about jobs! Next! Things will start looking up for you soon, Scott. What are you, a fortune cookie? I'm glad you have a new girlfriend. You were so upset for so long about now- Yes, I was, wasn't I? Good thing that's all over. Do you want to talk to Dad? Yeah, sure, why not? Hi, Scott. Do you know who this is? Is it my dad? Yes, how did you know? <sighs> Just be glad you weren't on the phone. Oh, whatever. Parents are parents. Suck it up. You know where they are? They're in Rome. They're living it up. They're, they're riding Vespas and eating a spicy meatball and kissing parts of the Pope. Or venerating them or whatever. Really? I'm assuming. Do you know anything at all about Rome? You don't, do you? I do... I do too. I have tons of ideas about Rome. Scott's ideas about Rome. Leaning Tower, a spicy meatball, the Pope of Rome, Vespers... Are those Italian? Rome is in Italy, right? Gladiator, this was a movie... I hope this is okay. My friends are kinda... I don't know if you'll like them. <laughs> They're stupid. I hate them. And you will too. No, I know. Gordon Dowdy's a totally sweet genius. Listen to this part right here. Sitting here at the horn So you know this is important He's a genius. He's such a genius. Who's a genius? Gordon Downey. It's a solo album. He has two. Who's that? The guy from the Tragically Hip. Ew. What? So, we're making vegan shepherd's pie. So, who's vegan? Uh, none of us. We, we just like to be inclusive. I eat fish. I eat eggs. I eat a lot of stuff. Hey. Hey, Kim, this is Ramona. Ramona Flowers, Kimberly Pine. Hi. Hi. Hey kids, now you can cook along at home and impress your vegan relatives. If you're under 23, ask a grown-up to help out. So this is like a collaborative meal type thing. Chopping vegetables keeps us out of trouble with the law. One, cut the potatoes up into smallish pieces. Leave the skins on if they look okay. Two, cut up the onion, carrot, celery, and garlic as small as possible. Use a food processor, or invite your friends to make them do all the work. So, like, how did you two meet? Um, it's kind of complex. Read the book sometime. Three, boil the potatoes 15 to 20 minutes until tender, then mash. Four, heat the olive oil in a pan. Add the vegetables and cook for 15 to 20 minutes until they're very soft, especially the carrots, which are probably the hardest. Um, I don't usually tell people this, but Scott and I dated in high school. What? Really? Uh-huh. It's not a big deal or anything, but... You can add some red wine. It's an option. It makes everything awesome. The other option is to drink the red wine, which works too. Five, add the fake meat stuff. Six, add the gravy stuff. Eight, add some soy milk and stir so everything's a bit saucy. That's all ancient history, so don't worry about it, Rammy. Rammy? Are you seriously calling her that? 
Are you seriously calling me that? No, it was a joke. It's a joke name. Ha <laughs> ha. Nine. Mash the potatoes with soy milk and soy margarine. Mmm, mashy. Ten. Get a 9 by 13 baking dish or a casserole or something and plop the fake meat slash veggie mixture in. Eleven. Make a layer of potatoes on top. In between, you can optionally add a layer of sliced tomatoes, cooked spinach, or corn. You can serve it as is, or bake it in the oven for a few minutes to crisp it up on top. A salad on the side would be health conscious, but we only have so much energy for this. Serve it! We're starving! Mmm, it's good. Night Chow, 17 years old. Can you leave me at my house in like 20 minutes? Samara, I'm being serious. Samara, listen to me. I need to talk to you. I need a shoulder to cry on or whatever. I know it's been like two weeks, but I just learned something new. New information. Disturbing information. Samara, come on. Okay, so 20 minutes, right? Ciao, residents. He's dating some fat ass hipster chick. Wow, already? I know, right? Because I was wondering why he's been too busy to hang out with me all of a sudden. Maybe he's just a jerk. He's not just a jerk. He's a really sweet guy. I mean, he was going on about how maybe I'm too young for him, and he doesn't want to hurt me and everything, right? Can you read these instructions for me? I'm so agitated. Are you seriously bleaching your hair? That's so fobby. So, um... We let it sit for like half an hour. Half an hour? This sucks. I think he only likes her because she's old, you know? She's probably like 25. She's some fat ass white girl, you know? I think you mentioned that she was fat. She's just some stupid, she had time, you know? She's got a head start. What am I supposed to do? How do I fight that? I didn't even know there was good music until like two months ago. Do you think he was too timing you? Are you serious? He would never! Oh, uh, I guess you're right. He's the sweetest guy. He's so sweet. He really cares about my feelings, you know? Can you open this box? We have to do this one soon. God, I don't know. He must have just met her. I mean, he knew I was cool, but he thought I was too young. So he tried to find someone cool but old, right? She's cool? I thought she was fat. Well, she thinks she's cool. so red. It's like my head is bleeding. What? Did you say your head is bleeding? Thanks for helping me do this, Tamara. I just had the idea and I thought I'd have to do it right now. Tonight. I can't hear anything you're saying. What do I do? How do I win him back? Obviously it's just a twist of fate or whatever, isn't it? Star-crossed lovers? Born too late? Oh, God! I look so... So good! What's this weird music? The clash at Demon Head. Do you think I'm too young for him? Um, yes. But she can't have him. You're crazy knives. I'll take her out of the picture. This song is actually pretty good. What did you say they were? They're my favorite band, Mara. You can't have them. Nice. Ramona's apartment. Since when did you have a cat? He was on the street, all cold and alone. I rescued him. Isn't he cute? Oh, what's his name? Gideon. Oh, a little Giddy. Is he named after your secret other boyfriend in New York? Crazy talk. Wallace says we can't have a kitty at our place. Good. Dude, no, no offense, but your place is a hole. What? Does it suck? What's wrong with it? There is light! What does not girlfriendly mean? It's a sucky little hole in the ground, Scott. Aww. Tell me about Lucas Lee, okay? I think I'm fighting him tomorrow or something. 
We were in drama class together in freshman year. You had drama class with a feature actor? Was that awesome? Well, wait, it might have been math class. I just know I remember there being a lot of drama. So did you have to fight a lot of dudes? Scott, it was the ninth grade. He followed me around. He was a little skinny, snot-nosed brat. He asked me out 96 times, and I finally said okay. There was snot in his nose? We were 14, or whatever. We were kids. There was no sex, no crime, no great heartbreak, or romance. We sat on curbs and smoked. You smoked? Yes, I smoked. God, I quit in college. You smoked for years? I'm gonna hit you. So hard. So what else happened with Lucas? Uh, nothing. Nothing important. I mean, we broke up. We only went out for a month or something. No big fights or anything? Principal possessed by a demon? Nope. And I didn't even string him along or cheat on him with any cocky pretty boys. The next day. Damn it, I wanted to get a haircut. Good job slipping in past noon then, guy. I look like a long-haired hippie. Honestly, I'm not seeing it. You look the same to me as you've always looked. Hot. Thanks for walking down with me anyway. I hate going to fights alone. It makes me feel like such a loser. I always end up kind of standing around and wondering if I'm even in the right place and wanting to go home. Casa Loma, 1 Austin Terrace, M5R1X8. The former home of Canadian financier Sir Henry Pellet. Canada's foremost castle is complete with decorated suites, secret passages, an 800-foot tunnel, towers, stables, and beautiful five-acre estate gardens. Open May through October. Film shoots may be accepted subject to availability and operational requirements. Open daily, 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Last admission, 4 p.m. Closed at 1 p.m. Christmas Eve, December 24th. Closed Christmas Day, December 25th. And then you lose. No, I never lose. Can I help you guys? <clears throat> He's famous and he talked to me. Evil enemy fight, remember? Uh, hi! Luke Wilson, right? No, I'm Lucas Lee. What is this? Who are you? Me? I'm Scott Pilgrim. Oh, okay. Best time, can I? Can I have your autograph? Are you okay? I take it we haven't missed much. Let's take a break, okay? I have a cooler with some Gatorade and baby carrots and rip. Oh, that sounds so good. So what's this movie? It's called You Don't Exist. I'm co-starring with Winfred Haley. It's like a romantic comedy. Winifred Haley? Isn't she like 16? Hey man, I don't cast these things. Is it gonna suck? Let's change the subject. Hey, do you have any embarrassing stories about Ramona? Only embarrassing to me. Or heartbreaking. What? Wait, what? She broke your heart? She didn't mention breaking any hearts. She left me for the first cocky pretty boy that swaggered by. What? Seriously? She didn't mention any cocky pretty boy. She, she did, actually. There's a lot of things that Ramona doesn't mention, Pilgrim. She likes to act like she's Little Miss Perfect, but the truth is... She cheated on me. She what?! She cheated on me. Then she dated that ass for like... The rest of high school. Who does that remind you of? You know, maybe Scott and Ramona are actually a match made in heaven. Dude, you're a good actor. I'm going for an Oscar this year. They almost didn't let me join the league, but I knew they had to. I'm an important figure in Ramona's past. Plus, I'm super tough. And cool. The league? Don't tell me Patel didn't introduce the League. Uh, he may have, in one of his letters that I didn't actually read. God, that's so like him. The League of Ramona's evil ex-boyfriends, man. How do you think we're organized enough to come after you like this? 
I, I hadn't really thought about that. Why are you looking at me? Okay, look. Give me all your money, and I'll let you live. I'll tell Gideon you beat me up. Wow, you really are a sellout. Kiss Ramona's sweet ass goodbye, pilgrim. Wait, uh, uh, hey! Have you seen the stairs over there? What about him? Well, you're a skater, right? Or you used to be. Used to be? I still am! What's your point? Can you show me a cool trick before you kill me? What? On the stairs? There's like 200 steps, and the rails are garbage! It's impossible! Impossible? <laughs> 34 kilometers per hour. 41 kilometers per hour. 56 kilometers per hour. Okay, okay. 57 kilometers per hour. 81 kilometers per hour. 134 kilometers per hour. 309 kilometers per hour. Cumulative speed too fast to live. This sucks. What? Why? You win by default. I didn't get his autograph. You are such a tool, Scott. Look at this mess! God! Hey, sorry about that guy. How much did he leave? Like, like 14 bucks or something, in coins! What a dick! Wow, life is hard. Where have you been anyway? Didn't you want to say hi to the guy before I exploded him? Yeah, not really. Oh my god, oh my god! Wow, lucky. Me thrill skateboard, plus four to speed, plus three to kick, plus one to will. No, I can't even use this! Why did I pick that skateboard for Fishersly back in grade five? <laughs> no! That was the worst fight ever! Suck it up. <laughs>